What's up YouTube? Because this has escalated to such a big deal, I felt like I needed to do a quick roundup of the entire situation. GTX 970. This awesome middle ground in between bottom of the barrel to overkill has been under fire for false advertisement. The company said it was a 4 gigabyte video card when in reality it was only 3.5 gigs. The other half a gig is technically there, but craps out apparently when you try to use it. Originally there was a rumor that was flying around about an update to the drivers that would make better use of this additional memory. That was later retracted. They are already getting backlash from people returning the video cards because of false advertising. And it didn't help NVIDIA out at all when they came out and said, hey, you know, it's technically here, but you probably won't use it anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it doesn't work. I'm paraphrasing, of course. As of right now, everything is still kind of up in the air of how this will conclude, but NVIDIA might actually have to revise some of their product specifications in order to continue selling it. And under some certain laws in certain areas, the card may be actually returned for false advertising. I'm not sure, however, how widespread that is. I think it's like in the UK, but in some places, people can't actually return it, and NVIDIA is trying to work with them to help them do that. And from one standpoint, you may have a 970, and you may not want to return it because it works for you just fine, and you don't need the 4 gigabytes. But to rub salt in the wound, AMD is actually offering discounts on some of their 4 gigabyte cards to anybody who returns a 970. <laughs> Touche, AMD. Touche. So NVIDIA, I offer up to you my solution. Give people rebates. For every person who bought a GTX 970, work out a re rebate program somehow that allows them to get a partial refund for the lack of memory. You may take a hit, but you'll save face. And I know this whole bug thing really is being blown out of proportion, I get that. But right now you're underneath the spotlight for basically lying to your customers and you need to fix that. Letting people keep their cars that they may enjoy while making them feel good about it with a little bit of a rebate might make this whole thing blow over. You're welcome. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please click like below. And if you want to hear more about tech news, please subscribe. Thank you.